welcome back to our channel as you guys see from the title today we're about to get into some delicious takeout egg rolls okay i absolutely love egg rolls and if you guys are a fan of chinese food i'm sure that egg rolls are one of your faves from the takeout restaurant as well but we don't be really knowing what they really got going on in there for real so we need to make our own stuff at home so i'm about to show you guys how to make some egg rolls that taste even better than when you get them from a chinese takeout restaurant if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by please feel free to like subscribe and leave us a comment if you've enjoyed the content to all of our new and returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you we love and appreciate you guys for coming back to our channel each and every time all right you guys now that we have gotten all of that out the way let's go ahead and get right into the video You make my heart and spirit always dance and sing. So there are so many different ways that you can make egg rolls. Today we're going to go ahead and make a veggie egg roll that just consists of egg roll wraps that you can get at your local grocery store. They are in the vegetable section, like in the produce section, okay? They're in the produce section next to like the prepared salads and things like that. We have some chopped up cabbage here. We have some chopped up carrots. Shredded carrots, you can buy them already shredded from the store. And we have some authentic Chinese bean sprouts, which are in the same section as the egg roll wraps at your local grocery store, okay? We're also gonna make some duck sauce here. So we have some apricot preserve. That's gonna go along with our duck sauce. And we have some water here. all right you guys so for rolling our egg rolls we're gonna use two egg roll wraps we want our egg rolls to be nice thick chewy crunchy just all of the goodness that comes along with the egg roll and in order to achieve that good egg roll taste you want to use two of the wrappers because if you only use one they are really, really thin and they'll break apart while frying or the ingredients inside will like pierce the outer edge of the egg roll and there'll be a hole in it. So for so many different reasons, it's just better to use two egg roll wraps, okay? So we're going to wrap it here as you guys should see me do and there should be like a triangle point on each side. The water is going to make it stick. And then you fold the outer edges like a present. Be sure not to get your whole wrap wet. You do not want the whole wrap to be wet and have like a sticky consistency. They'll start to stick together and then they just won't fry up like they're supposed to. You want that nice powdery doughy texture on your egg roll even after you wrap it except for the perimeter where you've placed the water in order to fold it and for your egg roll wrappers to stick together. Some people opt to pan sear or saute up the veggies that they're cooking inside their egg roll. I do do that sometimes when I'm making like a ground beef egg roll if I'm adding any type of meat. Today we're just making a veggie egg roll and in my opinion when you put the egg rolls in the oil to fry them it gets to the vegetables as well and they have the perfect amount of crunch. So step inside my zone, baby you can give me everything I want, everything I want. this egg roll recipe you can go ahead and check out our hibachi recipe our general toss chicken recipe our orange chicken recipe as well as our lo mein slash chow mein recipe all of these videos are on our channel and would pair great with these egg rolls okay they're in our what's for dinner playlist that's full of so many other amazing recipes that you will love so step inside my zone baby i can give you everything you want Everything you
is how our egg rolls should look. Some are gonna come out perfect, some are gonna come out not so perfect, but they all will taste delicious. If you're anything like me, you like pretty things, so you like for them to come out looking and tasting good, but all of mine don't look good, okay? All of them taste good, but you don't always get the perfect roll or wrap on each and every one. Some of the egg rolls might get holes in them and the inside filling will start to fall out. That's something that you want to pay attention to because you really don't want those veggies to fall out in your hot grease. So the ones that look really, really bad, just go ahead and discard of them. Throw the wrapper away because plenty of them come in the pack, all right? So for our duck sauce, we're gonna make some homemade duck sauce, you guys. We have some apricot preserve, some ginger that we're gonna use a very small portion of, and some rice vinegar here, okay? We're gonna put some, we're gonna just put some butter in a skillet, add in our ginger. I've minced up that ginger. It's very strong, it's very potent. A very small portion of ginger is all that you need for the duck sauce recipe. You wanna get it minced up as finely as you can so you're not tasting large chunks of ginger because again, it's very potent and strong, okay? So we have our ginger in the skillet with some butter. We're gonna add in our apricot preserve. We're also gonna add in that rice vinegar. And then before it's all said and done, we're gonna go ahead and add in a tad bit of brown sugar. All the measurements and ingredients are in the description box below for you guys. You might not even like duck sauce, but I absolutely love duck sauce, okay? When I go to the Chinese restaurant, I ask for duck sauce and then I go back and ask for more duck sauce because I wanna have duck sauce at home for when I make Chinese food myself. And I say, you know what? Let me stop stealing these people duck sauce and learn how to make it on my own, all right? I learned how to make some absolutely delicious duck sauce and of course, I have to share it with you guys. It is the perfect thing to dip your egg rolls in. Baby, I can give you everything you want. Everything you want. You. Are all I need now. It's crazy, but it's true. You're all I need. All right, so in true authentic Chinese fashion they fry their egg rolls in like a Dutch oven a really deep pot but we're gonna fry ours today in the deep fryer okay you guys know I love using my deep fryer whenever I can because I don't use it that much okay so you're just gonna place them down in the deep fryer and fry them for about five minutes and they're gonna come out nice beautiful crispy golden brown egg rolls okay they're gonna be beautiful egg rolls that taste even better than the ones you get from takeout okay these are bomb make this duck sauce use soy sauce um use any type of dipping sauce that you would like i'll come back in a few weeks with another egg roll recipe the way i make it when i use ground meat in mine a lot of the chinese restaurants use like ground pork but I make mine with ground turkey and sometimes ground beef if I'm filling it with a little cabbage. But I will definitely come back with that recipe and share it with you guys. That is going to be all for this video today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you guys have been enjoying all of the uploads on this channel. Again, if you are new here, please feel free to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you've enjoyed the content. To all of our new subscribers and our returning subscribers, we love and appreciate you all for coming back to our channel each and every time. And y'all already know, we will see you guys in our next video. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now When it came crashing down All I know is that I need you around When it comes crashing down All I need is not to feel so much alone So step inside my zone